Well, the seventh annual Smoking Guns returns after a two year break because of the pandemic. The event features firefighters and police officers competing in MMA and boxing. All of it's to help raise money for Special Olympics Oklahoma and Firefighters Burn Camp. And we have the man who helped bring this whole thing together and one of the fighters here in studio with us. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, as the camera goes that way, <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Daniel Twist, who is a Tulsa police officer, 918 fully involved flight, co flight coordinator. And, uh, Rodney Holloman, who is also a Tulsa firefighter. First of all, thank you both for joining us as we enjoy the live TV presence that we always <laughs> have with automatic cameras. First of all, so I talked to uh, Nolan Boyd, one of the fighters in this as well, who is, you know, one of your coworkers. Uh, he says that this is kind of the perfect event because you are both competitive police officers and firefighters and you like to give each other trouble. Why is this fighting event in particular and why is it going to be to raise money for these two particular causes? Uh, so uh, the firefighters fight for firefighters burn camp and um, the police officers fight for Special Olympics of Oklahoma. Honestly, uh, the, the competitiveness between firefighters and cops it just doesn't go away. Uh, we like to <laughs> no give way. these guys a hard time. They like to give us a hard time. I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. we're all brothers and sisters, uh, but it's just a fun, fun, competitive atmosphere that we have between each other. Yeah, I know. He said uh, either way, it's a win-win. Yes. Because it's, it's, for, it's for charity. So I, we're, we're going to be showing some videos you see kind of right there. This is not this small building. This is at the BOK Center again tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of people there. I know you can, you can get tickets to go. Uh, how did it get to this point? What are you expecting to see out there? If a family comes out to see this, to experience that atmosphere, what is it going to be like for them? Uh, it's probably one of the most unique atmospheres that you're going to get to be a part of. Uh, most people come in either team red or team blue. And uh, when you come in, you end up uh, cheering for one side or the other. Right. Uh, so a lot of guys have... Uh, connections with firefighters or police or they know police officers or firefighters and all that stuff. Uh, we're expecting at least 6,000 people. I think that there might be more this year. I'm hoping. Uh, with the two-year break, um, it's been a long time, you know, and we are just super anxious to get in there and, and have this crowd come in. Oh, it's going to be amazing, especially to see some new video from tomorrow oh, and have yes. that for next year. It's going to look different. So I got to talk to you, though, about training for this. How do you get signed up for it? And then what does that training schedule kind of look like for you? Because boxing MMA, that's not easy. Right. Neither is being a firefighter. Right. <laughs> uh, well, Fletcher, uh, Dustin Fletcher, the other guy that runs it, uh, he reached out to me and he just kind of asked if it was something I would be interested in. And, uh, you know, I just kind of thought, why not? So, <laughs> why not? Uh, so since why not then, jump in the ring? Exactly. You know, it uh, just kind of jumped headfirst into it. So I've been training about six days a week every day for the past three, four months. So it's been pretty, pretty that good journey. Like weight training or, I mean, how often do you actually get in the ring and fight it out? Uh, I, typ I typically, <laughs> I spar, I typically spar about three to four times a week, just how, depending on the week. How do you get used to like taking a punch though? I need to know. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. I don't think I'd be ready for it. It's going to be an amazing time. I know because you guys are what cutting weight now and then you weigh in on, on today, right? Yeah. And today is our weigh-ins. Today is a uh, weigh-ins. We're doing that at 11. And this is probably one of the more uh, stressful days for the fighters because they're going to be trying to make weight. Oh, yeah. Either, <laughs> hey, I need to make sure that I need to drink water or don't drink water. Um, so it's an exciting day for them. And this is the introduction to tomorrow. And tomorrow, it's game day. Oh, I can't wait for it. Uh, by the way, one last question I got for you. How much money does go to these two uh, charities? Do you have that on top of your head? Yeah. So um, we have raised over $250,000 uh, in our time with smoking guns, uh, to both of the charities. So, um, all the tickets that we raise, uh, all the money, uh, from the tickets go all into both of the charities. So it's super exciting. And, you know, we don't know how much we get to donate until we get those ticket sales and all that stuff. But, uh, we're hoping that this year is going to be really awesome. I think it will be. And thank you both for, uh, for joining us this morning. I know it's early. Both are probably pretty used to it. <laughs> like that, though. Uh, speaking of getting those tickets, though, we do have a really easy link for you on KGRH.com right now. You can get those tickets. I believe they're also being sold at the door. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So at the BOK Center, um, they'll be open early. Uh, you'll have plenty of time to go get those tickets. They're $25 yeah, at the that. door. Yeah. And like I said, all of the proceeds go straight into the organization. All right. Head on over to our website, get some more information on that. It's going to be amazing. It's for some really great causes as well. Corey? It sounds great.